So then, just a quick little message for the start of this video. The following gameplay you are about to watch is from XM Lad. He is my GFX designer. He's getting an Elgato for Christmas and will be starting up his own YouTube channel. So be sure to go and check out his channel. Maybe drop a subscription. He does produce some great GFX and will be producing some very high quality videos in the near future. But this is Female Thursday and let's crack on with it. So what is up, pimps, hoes and buffaloes? We are back today with another video commentary. And once again, I'm going to be starting off and setting up a new series that's going to be happening on my channel every single Thursday called Female Thursday. Thursday. And the way the Female Thursday is going to work is, funnily enough, every single Thursday, I will stand here in front of the microphone doing a dual commentary and working with another female YouTuber, or alternatively, I'm going to stand here and talk about females in general. As blokes, we all know, there are things that we absolutely love about women. Maybe you're a tits guy instead of an ass guy, or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe you love, I don't know, the way women speak. Certain women, like Myla Kunis, have got a really sexy voice. I don't know. Anything female related, I'm going to be talking about it on Female Thursday. Maybe... There's something you absolutely despise about a female. There are certain things I just really cannot stand. And on Female Thursday, that is where we get to talk about them. And today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I got together with Amy, my girlfriend. Unfortunately, we were going to do it as a dual commentary, but she isn't actually available to do it today. So what we decided was we're going to do a dual com on Thursday, the 3rd of January, I believe. And, you know, then we can talk about it a little bit more because that's actually two days after our one year anniversary. Ah, oh, congratulations. That's the moment where you all type that in the comments section. But yeah. What we're going to do today is I'm going to tell you guys how we actually got together. So first of all, Amy joined my school. She was resitting year 12 in September of 2011. And at that moment, I was in year 13 doing my last year of A-levels. And of course, as all sixth forms go in the UK, we have a big common room where the two top years in the school, they pretty much just get to hang out. Instead of having to stand out in the cold in the winter days, we get ourselves a nice warm common room, even though the windows were always open. I, I don't know why, it just, that was the way it was. And she was in the common room and we were just chatting you know as you do a bit of friendly banter at lunchtime between all of the guys in the year we used to sit in a massive group in the common room and we just pretty much talked for the whole of lunchtime just either taking the piss out of someone saying about what happened at a party at the weekend and that is you know at that moment we weren't actually really talking. We were never really catching each other's eye and stuff like that. She was talking to someone else and I was talking to other girls as well. That's just, you know, what happens when you don't know someone very well. And I think it came to the first party that she ever went to with my school. And honestly, guys, it was the funniest thing. When I say this, I don't want to put her across as an alcoholic who can't handle a drink. But it's one of those nights where maybe you've had one too many and eventually... After this night, she ended up falling in this bush. It was a rose bush, obviously not the nicest bush to fall into. And everyone was just walking down the garden, going onto the patio, walking past Amy, who's fallen into this rose bush. She wasn't exactly just there unconscious. She was just laughing, but you can always tell when someone's laughing to cover up some sort of pain. So I walked past her and thought, you know, this isn't right. I need to go back, help her up, give her a hand, because, you know, it's not right for her to be sat there after she's had maybe a couple too many to drink and just be leaving her in the bush. So I picked her out of the bush. We started to and I must say guys honestly she's not an alcoholic it just happens sometimes you have one too many and then you can't really control your actions as much as you could if you were sober so I pulled her out of the bush we started talking and from that moment at school we were always talking to each other in the common room if we had free periods at the same time we would do stuff together we just used to have like I don't know a table tennis ball in the middle of the room we just used to throw it at each other and it was just basic little tiny banter like that that really sort of escalated a couple of weeks later and she was in the computer room downstairs and she had this female stalker. I may have mentioned this to you guys before, but this stalker was always trying to talk to her. Honestly, it was just a constant thing. Whenever I saw her trying to do some work on the computer, this girl would just be in her ear like and I was just there like, are you okay? Do you need some time? Do you need some space? And she was like, oh, so annoying. So I asked her for a number. We got chatting, sending the text, doing the phone calls. You know the drill. And eventually, she invited me around her house. So I went around her house. It was good fun. And that happened a couple of times. And then I think it came to around Christmas. And by this stage, we were just texting nonstop. I honestly think back then, my contract was like 2,000 texts. And I think I went over by about 600 that December. And I had to change the contract to unlimited text and cut down the minutes on my phone bill. Because I was just texting her so much. And then eventually it got to after Christmas on the 31st of December. We were talking a lot by this point. We both stayed around each other's houses. Well, I stayed around her. She hadn't actually stayed around mine. And then it got to New Year's Eve at midnight. And I actually decided to ask her out at midnight on New Year's Eve. Some may say that's a very, very stupid move. Because if she would have said no, I would have looked like an absolute pleb on New Year's Eve getting rejected by a girl. But luckily for me, she did say yes. And once again, is another very, very funny story to it. And once again... 
It's all about Amy having one too many to drink. I will tell you this right now. She's only ever been drunk twice, and it's the two times I've mentioned in this video. She's not some sort of annoying female girl that just gets drunk all the time and acts like a hoe, a slut, a bitch. She's nothing like that. But this time, once again, I asked her out at 12. She said yes. We had a nice, passionate kiss at 12 o'clock, like you do with your first New Year's kiss. Or your New Year's kiss, not my first New Year's kiss. But you guys know what I mean. And she forgot. She actually forgot half an hour later that I'd asked her out. So I did it again, just to prove a point, and she said yes again. So all was fine and dandy. I did have a panic for about, I don't know, a minute or so, just thinking, what the hell? Is she actually for real, or is she just messing around? But she did say in the morning after, she did remember it, and she said sorry to me for making me look like a faggot in front of my friends. But that was the story. It was a really good party. I, as well, had a couple more to drink after midnight. So I went home a little bit tipsy, stumbling, you know, and... As you do when you're drunk. I'm not trying to promote alcohol abuse or alcoholic beverages for you guys, but you know, you, that's just what happened. But that is the way that me and Amy got together. We will do a dual commentary about some of our times together. If you guys are interested in that, we don't really care about what is, ex well, we do care about what's exposed, but in terms of like trips we've had, funny moments we've had and stuff like that, we can talk about those if you guys want us to. And if you did enjoy this video, leave a like rating and as well as that, let me know some of the things that you like and dislike about females in general, and then I can see if I agree or disagree with any of them to discuss in a future Female Thursday vid. But as for now, guys, I shall love you and leave you and speak to you tomorrow, hopefully, with another video. See you later, guys. Peace.